So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and trim nails and your blood sugars have been doing well. Yeah, they are. I mean, they were around 7 or 7.1 for a long time. And and then when I'm at it, just took it right down. On the glipizide, yeah. Yeah, I want to go happy with feeling that way. Feeling too well? Well, when you, well, you wake up in the middle of the night, you just like you just took a shower, you're in a cold sweat. Right. I mean, not always, but, or I just feel nauseated or just dizzy. Or, mm-hmm. You don't take my blood sugar and I take something right then. Usually I go through the night without waking up from that. Well, and the danger is not waking up when your blood sugar goes out. Right, right. Which is why low blood sugar is even more dangerous than too high. So very fun conversation is tell us what you did to your race car over the winter so that or over the summer so that you can get her back on the track well actually uh, I haven't done anything we've been involved with so many other things this summer okay and she did have some carburetor issues so I had to send the carburetor in okay to somebody to have it rebuilt we haven't got it back yet but and what kind of car is this again it's a 60 1968 Dodge Dart okay and naturally aspirated it's over 800 horsepower Wow. You know, I have no idea what that means, but it sounds well, it's, really impressive. What's your car got? <laughs> I didn't see your car out there today. You're driving your SUV? No. Um, I have to run home over lunch, so I parked a little closer to the oh, building oh, in okay. case it's pouring okay. rain. I guess I just didn't see it. Yeah. I have whatever no that, let's say, it's a, let's say you got 150 horse, or okay. let's say you have 200 horse. On a she's regular a, car? Yeah, she's got four times that much. Yeah. For a car that probably doesn't weigh any more than yours. So is this one of the races where you're at a dead stop and the light yep. turns green? Yep. And, and then you got a quarter mile and she's going about 140, 141 miles an hour to the end of the quarter mile. So when you start, does like the back lift up off the track? Pardon me? When you first get started, since she's got 800 horsepower. Mm-hmm. Now she, just, just to be clear for anybody listening, she, yeah, she is not the car, she is his wife. That's my wife, yes. <laughs> That's yes. the racing. Yes, and the thing of it is, uh, because it doesn't have a very wide tire on the back, because mm-hmm. there's no room for real big tires in the car, the wheel walls aren't big enough for it. She's got to take off with a, enough where the front end of the car comes off the ground about a foot, and that puts all the weight to the back wheels. Okay. She's not doing it to show off, she's doing it because if she doesn't do that, then the tires just sit there and spin like they're on ice. So, so she's got to, she's got to get the uh, front end of the car off the ground, mm-hmm. to put enough weight in the back so uh, the tires don't spin. So when she hits the gas, that's what happens. That's then. what happens. The front end comes up. Cool. And it uh, sometimes it comes up too too high. Mm-hmm. Then she's got to adjust her launch speed and where's the RPM she takes off at, or she's got to adjust her rear or front shocks. And people don't understand what they mean. Why do you, how do you make it change by just changing your shocks? Well, the front shocks, if the shocks are adjusted to where the front of the wheels come up right away with the body, mm-hmm. then it prevents the front end from coming up too high. If you adjust the shocks where the front end of the car can rise quite a bit before the tires come off the ground, then wow. your front end tends to come up further. And she's had it to a point where she was up so high she rubbed the back bumper of the car on the on the on the asphalt. And that's too high. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then but the idea high. is to raise up the front, but to keep the front tires on the ground for traction. To keep yeah to keep to keep the get the front tires off the ground so the back tires oh. will have good traction. Okay. Well, next summer when you get the car back out on the track, can I come watch? Sure. Okay. I would love to. We've been talking about it for years. And I've never. And I've got pictures and stuff on it, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, on my phone, then, but I don't have any. I even have video. I don't know. No, I'd rather come out and watch. Yeah. And it's fun when you know someone in the in the game. Yeah, she really enjoys it. So this has a little sore underneath it. Mm, okay. Um, that's kind of typical with you because okay. the nails get too thick. So mm-hmm. 
just some antibiotic on that for the with a band-aid for the okay. next couple weeks. Okay. Should be fine. Or I'm sorry, the next few days. Like some neosporin or bacitracin. Okay. okay. And I'll put some on before you go. So with a diabetic, if that nail gets too thick and you don't necessarily feel it, the skin underneath can break open and form a sore. Okay. And we've had that on that one before, but it's always healed. My wife, she's 70 years old now, so she's... Uh, Again, your wife, not the car. My, my wife. <laughs> And the car is 50 years old. 68 dirt. People will see her, you know, like in a restaurant or someplace, and they'll say, Where have you been? We haven't seen you. We've done thousands of these now. You told me last time, I don't remember. Not, not on video, not on video, but. <laughs> How many thousands of. People? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Almost 30 years. Several days, five days a week. Oh. I've never good at math. As long as you're good at this, I don't care. You're not good at math. As long as what? As long as you're good at what you're doing here, what you are. So. Thank Before. Yeah, the first one. I'll just take the glove off. Or 
All right, so I've got a little antibiotic on there, okay. and um, very similar to like triple antibiotic ointment or neosporin. Okay. Um, so just keep this covered with uh, that and a band aid for the next couple of days, and this will heal up just fine. Okay, great. If it gives you any trouble, you give me a call back. Okay, great.